New thing I slap West Street. Yo, me style them. Tell it, tell it. Me a star, rock it. Tell it, tell it. Sashi expression from dance expression. That's a go on. Um, right now with the whole situation with the whole coronavirus. First of all, what what you think about how Jamaica has been handling the situation so far? Yeah, I'm really surprised by the way Jamaica handled the situation. I'm really, you know, putting in the measures and the mother hard with this thing. I'm, I'm a light that I love that to see the fact that we're not really I take it for a joke. Because I put in the measures them and get the thing to work for people to be safe, you know? Right, so right now, yeah, as we know, there's a public ban, there's a ban on all public gatherings yeah. of over 20 people. You know? So what does that mean for the, 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 the nightlife, the dance hall industry? Well, the nightlife, my life, kind of a sticky for it. And it mush up because I'm not just we alone it did it for. The people them are selling the little thing them at the gate and them thing and the man them are selling the whistle and the thing them in the party. I know say for advertise our work at the street. You see me, I will not have that no more. The hostel them, we keep the guests them for we and we can do classes. Everything are airport shut down. We can't leave the country and people can't come into the country. You see me, so that will really be a hard thing for we know. Speaking of uh, you know the whole dance classes and so uh, uh, how drastically has all of that been affected? Yo, yes. There's so much to say that the only the rough part now for me, like even for people who are the online classes, is not everybody have an account for people can send them money. And right now nobody can send you anything to no Western Union because all of them places they are closed. We don't know how them people they are survive. You see me so it, it, it drastic for all of it right now. About how many classes per week would you say you used to do before the whole coronavirus thing? Sometimes we can't really tell, you know. Sometimes it, it's based on, on how many guests are here. You know I me? Mean? And you don't know some most people want to see the countryside first before they come into Kingston. So sometimes per day you can do uh, two up to four classes. It depends. So we can't really tell. And since the whole shutdown or lockdown, uh, uh, how much has it been reduced? <laughs> Yo, it's one class or no class. You see me? So, yo, I don't know how them have to fix this, but them have to fix it. So the man will bill it me for fix it. I just got me off a sec because it, it's sticky. I ain't not gonna just be sticky for me, you know, in my family too, you know, whoever create this thing. Because the thing is, I not just we are feel it, you know. The world I feel it. The world. I don't know what's the new plan, but I hope it's a plan for, for help all of it. How you plan for past the next few weeks? How you plan to get by? Well, the only thing we can do is just work with the measures them with them put out and try to create a little fuel for myself back home because they know they still. How long can we stay inside? Nobody can check on that. No matter how much food supply you buy, them have to finish. They must finish. The toilet paper is a crisis now. People need toilet paper. You see, so I don't know how long we can stay inside for. So, the whole heap measurements have been made within even the governments. Like, if they are going to create a system where, like, truck come and deliver things to communities, but something is going to happen, because how long can we stay inside? We can't go stay inside forever. Other countries have the luxury, you know, of their governments helping them out and giving yeah. them food supplies and even money uh, and even their work, paying them and those things. So they can afford to stay home. Jamaicans don't have that luxury. How you think? Or what, how you think Jamaicans going to get by? Yo, I don't know. That's why it to come to a case where maybe a few of we are gonna break the law because if we can't go, they gonna earn. Cause remember, say some people don't work a nine to five. Most people are hustlers. And the only way they can eat at daytime is if they hustle. No hustle, no food. And there is no hustling that can happen at this given moment. You see me? And it's not everybody have an account, as I said before, we can get money, so like whoever the government have to pay. Because for me you now, the money not really make no use for us now. Because we can't go out if we even get the money to buy anything. So, so for me you now, it's just the, 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 the thing about having things in, coming into the communities and giving the people them and them things that are the only way myself them can kind of focus on to help with. And the best help that we see so far. Financially, how do you personally plan to survive it and if, if this shutdown continues for longer than the next two weeks or so? Well, I can't really tell you that one day, you know, I just when the day forward, you know, because it's sticky. None of we know what tomorrow may bring, you know. It 
might get worse, it might get better. But when it comes to that day, we we'll have to have a plan. It's just that we can't plan now because we don't know what tomorrow we're going to bring. So, we we'll have to survive. That's just a thing. And do you think, you think that the whole uh, coronavirus is a little bit uh, overblown? Are people overreacting? Or you think you are, it's justified? I think it's, people need to take it yeah. as serious as they are. It is serious, but most people really are overreacting. Because, all right, we get everything on social media and them thing, and you have people where just are create false news. News were gone before them are put it on the case, and them need to stop with them something there, isn't it? For me, no, me not, me not know. It's just that we just need to fix it. That's that is just it. And it's not to fix now. And what we, lastly, what would you like to say to the dancehall community, inter, uh, locally and, and internationally? Well, as it relates to the whole coronavirus, we now have nothing greater for do than dance, you know. And I don't really know how it can help, but them say, for me, if if them say for keep your body warm, this, this sickness don't stay in them warm era. They all of the dance of them anyway. They just dance non-stop. You see me? So we just have to burn the fire, cause if we have to fight it, so cause remember, say some people in us, so them stay warm every day and sit down and we active. So if being active work. You know how our work go already. You see me? I don't know. We have to just, for all of the people that way, you and your neighbor never used to talk or whatever, we are telling them to talk now because a whole heap of things are going to go on and we have to help each other. Now, at the time where the Andy have to start help the Andy. You see me? Because we have to just left your brother and your sister and we must have family out there. You, know? you see me? So, right now we have to start help. We have to bid the nation. Oh, that many one people know.